Hey guys, I'm Dubai Self here. Welcome back to the channel. And Apple has updated their website with a new activation lock request removal. Finally, this is Apple's effort to help customers who have landed on this screen right here and can't even unlock their very own iPhone, iPads, iPod Touch, Apple Watch, or Macs. Now, this is a security feature built into the iPhone that prevents anyone from having access to your data or your devices if they ever get lost and someone tries to restore them to have access and use those devices. So, in this video, I'm going to show you how to remove that using Apple's updated website to request an activation locked removal. Although, this is an awesome security feature built into iOS and Apple devices, some customers do forget their credentials their passcodes, their phone numbers associated to these accounts, and sometimes it can be a pain. So let me show you what Apple is doing to help customers with that situation. So Apple has had this website up before, but they added a third option here, which is what we're going to be talking about today, the request of the removal of the iCloud unlock or the iCloud activation lock. So let's go here through the steps. The first one is, of course, you can remove it if you have your password and your Apple ID, but if you have that, then you really just don't need that. Number two, you can request a password reset and these are the two options that were here before but if you can't reset your password for whatever reason you don't remember the old phone number associated to the account or any other credential that Apple may be asking then you now have a third option down here which says need additional support well start an activation lock support request so let's click here and get started and this is what's new here so request additional support for unlocking your device and there's several things you need to know about Apple's unlock request okay so Apple Activation unlock request requires you to be the owner of the device. So you must be able to provide the serial number or the IMEI number or the MEID number. Now that information can be found on the box of your iPhone at the bottom, right there it is. So you can find all that information there or on the activation screen. When you first wake up your device from the activation lock, there's an eye next to the information on the lock screen. You can tap into there and you can find that information and you can provide it there. Now all data that's on that device will be completely removed from that iPhone. So the iPhone that you're requesting the activation lock to be removed, all the data will be completely erased. So it is up to you to make sure you back up any data on your iOS device before requesting this information or this iCloud activation lock removal. Now, if the device that you're looking to unlock is associated to a business, Apple will not unlock that device regardless. Now, if your device is set as lost on the iCloud website, then Apple will not remove the activation lock either. So just keep those things in mind. Once you click continue here to agree, you can enter the email associated to that account and you'll get an email that will redirect you here. This is where you tell Apple additional information on how to contact you in case they have to. Right here, you're going to provide the purchase date. You're also going to provide the name of the store, the country, the address, where you purchased your iPhone, and or a receipt of purchase. So if you have a receipt of purchase, you can also submit it right here by clicking on select file and you can upload the actual receipt and provide additional information to Apple on what steps have you taken in order to unlock that device. So you can provide additional details and a purchase receipt with additional details that provide the IMEI number, the serial number, and how you purchased your device, where you purchased it, and the purchase date. And that is pretty much how this works. I thought this information might be of value to you. So let me know if you're going to be using this website. Thank you for watching this video, guys, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.